Welcome Sagittarius to your Astrodice reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this is going on with you this month. Giving you a small horoscope. Show us the best message for Sagittarius, please. Best message for Sagittarius. You have the moon coming out with Sagittarius, your own energy coming out. Wow, that's some strong energy in the 11th house. So what is it? It is the moon. Talking about those emotions going on, feeling sensitive and emotions and having some responses of emotions. Okay. Angling Sagittarius style over here in your own energy. And this is the energy imbues power Superior confidence, enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. Nice. So even though you're feeling kind of emotional, you're still using this power, the power with emotions. And going straight into the 11th house, the 11th house is talking about where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So you got the luck over here with the fortune and the authority and faith. And then you have, once again, grants, wishes, and luck. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of luck coming towards you, Sagittarius, this month. I'm really feeling that. Your emotions are set. It looks like you're um, taking the ball into your court and you're really power playing on this for good fortune. Really feeling like you're in control of your emotions as well. Okay. So getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in, oops, in the beginning of the month. The middle of the month and the end of the month. Let's just move these over a little. So you can see them. Otherwise, they're going to run off the board. Run off the mat over here. Okay, so. I fight on the beginning of the month for Sagittarius. What does the beginning of the month look like for Sagittarius, please? In the 11th house. Wow. Looks like you've been patiently planning. Um... But you're definitely patiently planning now. There are things going in your favor, um, things that you may have been patiently planning for a while, um, but yet you're continuing to do so. Um, wow, for the harmony and the peace. And it looks like the perfect timing for your um, things that you've been planning to come through. Wow, look at the determination you have going on. So whatever it was that you were so determined to plan over here is really coming in harmoniously. Um and at the perfect time, right? Yep, prosperity, it's all money. It's mostly money, my friends. And I know this is the 11th house, and I know it's talking about granting wishes and luck and friends and social occasions, and I'm telling you, this money is coming under that grants, wishes, and luck area. Um, I haven't even seen, really, the um, <laughs> friends area or anything just yet. Right, now it's money, money, money. So whatever you guys are doing, um, whatever, however hard you've been working or saving money or whatever it is, is really coming through right now. Um, the money is actually, the prosperity is maturing, meaning it's growing. Uh, so you have the inference with the prosperity and really nurturing this. It was something you've really been nurturing, um, and it's been growing and maturing as it's growing with the 10 of coins. So having a lot of money come in, my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you won the lottery. I don't know what's going on over here, but you have a lot of money, a lot of money. But are you guys going to win the lottery? I don't know. You know, I, I will never say that, but I'm just telling you, if, if somebody might, it could be, I mean, look at, you have the fire and all the money. It's all fire, all money. So somebody out there might win a lot of money. If you're going to the casino or doing something like that, you might win a crap load of money. Because it could be something you've been manifesting, something you've been wishing for. If you play the lottery a lot, if you do things like this, however it is, or either that or you have saved a lot of money and then a lot of money came through. It's not money for some of you. It's just this whatever it is that you've been patiently planning, you're going to feel like you won the lottery. Let's put it that way. It could be your friends, social occasions, however it is. Take it how it resonates. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not even the beginning of the month yet, but I'm telling you, something has matured in your favor. It's grown in your favor. 
And it was definitely, it's definitely the perfect timing for you, Sag. I mean, literally, this is the Temperance of Sagittarius card. And this is the Sagittarius card. The determination, the hard work, the determination of manifesting, whatever it is. But it's because you've been keeping your emotions so set. Your emotions are right where they're supposed to be. You haven't been doing the wishy-washy, oh, I don't think I'm going to have this. No, you're very determined on planning and doing what you want or keeping that um, chariot going in your law and attraction. So in the beginning of the month, it's paying off. Whatever it is. Okay. That's a lot. I haven't seen that in a while. I think I've seen that for Gemini last month, but not like this. This is pretty big. So in the middle of the month, you have the magician again, the law and attracting again, and it's justified. You have all this good karma coming out. So I don't know. Lady Karma is on your side this month. It feels like it for a lot of you worked so hard to get here. Um, and it's just really paying off with the imprints. The imprints is that Venus coming through that is telling you this is in your favor um, for sure. It's almost like you're being granted wishes for sure. I mean, I even see it in mid-month with the magician coming out with the justice. Uh, how else could you see that, right? Look at that in swift activity with the Knight of Swords. It's swiftly coming through you. It's justified. It's um, if you're going through a legal case, and you know you're going to win this case and they owe you money, you are definitely getting that money, my friends. If it's some kind of inheritance that's coming through and somebody else is trying to fight to get that inheritance even though it was left to you, um, you are getting it. I, to, lottery, winnings, I, I don't know. Take it how it resonates, but dude. It's going to be kind of slow. This law and attraction here in the mid-month is a little bit slower than this one. But maybe you felt that it was already a little slow anyways. Maybe it's just it seems fast here because it's just like the big boom, right? But maybe you're saying it's okay because it was slow to begin with. It's only moving fast now because of the perfect timing. So it could be a huge possibility for some of you. Um, you are being justified where you felt that you were going to get sorted. What? So whatever heartaches and pains you had gone through is now justified through Lady Karma to tell you everything is justified. Everything is balanced. You do not need to keep your swords anymore. So you will not have the three of swords anymore. You will be, it's going to take some time to get kind of past that though in some ways because it's more of a, like a feeling um, of, oh my God, I can't believe that this feeling has gone away like that. And that's mid-month. Because no matter what, Lady Karma is turning in your favor again. I think it's that somebody is talking kind of crap to you. Just saying. Hey, look, you win the lottery. You get all this money. You get whatever it is that you're looking for. This wishes and good luck. How could you not think that someone is going to come at you? Well, Sagittarius, how did you get that? Yeah, because with the Seven of Swords upside down, they didn't feel like you deserved to have that. It feels like jealousy in some ways, but don't worry about it because you don't have to carry the Three of Swords from this person. This person's just being nasty at mid-month. We always get that one person who's never happy for us, right? How is this and why is this? Darn it, I lost a card, guys. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh my gosh. So the end of the month, you have this sun. Don't worry about it because you have this happiness coming through um, and the overall um, vitality of everything. It's like everything has come together for you. And it just feels like you have good luck again. It's just a month of good luck for you guys. Your social occasions look great except for this one person. This, this right here is the social, right? Because I said, where's the social? Well, the social is... Um, they're kind of upset. Now, if you were going against somebody for inheritance and you ended up taking the majority of that away from them where they thought that they deserved that, of course they're going to talk crap to you, right? They're going to think you stole it away from them. Um, but it's justified. Just remember, it's always justified that the justice card is here. And it could be a Libra that you're taking this away from. who's being snippety to you. You have all these, oh my, come on guys. 
Yeah, but you're going to have the Ten of Swords again towards the end of the month going in. Um, this is going to be the very end of the month, though. Because you have the sun over here and you're feeling very vitalized. You have things going on for you. Your dreams and your goals are going on great. You have more hopes. Um, it just feels like you're kind of sitting on top of a cloud nine over here. But then you, once again, here comes this social activity from this. I'm telling you it's a Libra. If it ain't a Libra, it's a Gemini. And, I mean, it could be Aquarius, but it looks to me like a Libra or a Gemini. So you're going to feel like you're kind of backed against a wall, even though you have all these great things. But I, I do believe that this is really going to be towards the end of the month, getting ready to go into um, uh, Gemini season. Once you're out of Taurus season, Gemini season is coming in. And it feels like you're going to be kind of back against a wall. Someone has kind of put you there. I still think it's this person um, because you have all these opportunities. But... It's also all these opinions and all these things that they're throwing at you. Keep your opinions to yourself. But otherwise, you're just going to continue to feel the passion and keep moving forward. But I think this is the only reason this is going to hurt is this could be a family member or a really good friend. Yeah, but you're not going to stay in nightmares, so you'll be okay with the Eight of Wands. So it just feels like that's going to be going into that Gemini season, the very end of Taurus, okay? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't let them continue to talk down to you. Some people just don't like our um, ups. <laughs> Some people don't like our rewards, right? So it's kind of like, well, fine, I'll just kind of surrender, right? Whatever. I don't want to take on that, right? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this with you. That's really kind of what it feels like. <clears throat> because you get the Eight of Wands over here. And the Eight of Wands are upside down. So it's kind of like discord, giving up. And that's pretty much what it is. Because you have the passion and you don't want to go through the nightmare. So you just kind of give up and kind of like whatever. Say whatever you want. I don't care. Right. I give up. I give up. I don't want to be frustrated anymore. So you might even kind of just kind of surrender to them. It's a family member and just like, whatever. Say whatever you want to do. I'm not going to get frustrated about it anymore. Okay. So the overall message for the reading, my friends, is... You just kind of let it go is really what it is. That's really all it is. Is eight of coins just really knowing where you're going inspecting it for the ace of cups and that's exactly what it is you have your fulfillment of wishes so you'd be just fine just fine okay and it looks like you're just not going to listen to them anymore you're just going to kind of give up and throw your hands in the air and say that's fine you just keep talking your crap and do whatever you want I i'm fine i'm fine over here because i have all this passion and i know what i have so i really don't need to listen to all of this okay because listening to all of this is just nonsense okay so and that's pretty much the only thing that's kind of disturbing about the reading is this kind of jealousy, envy, or um, kind of pinning you against a wall. This, whoever this person is, that's it. Other thing, everything else is amazing. Amazing. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love.